Opening statements in the defamation case against Fox News were set to begin today, but the trial abruptly got delayed last night. The judge overseeing the case spoke this morning, saying he was delaying the start of the trial until Tuesday. The case centers on whether Fox defamed Dominion voting systems by spreading false claims that the company rigged the 2020 presidential election to prevent former President Donald Trump's re-election. We want to bring in attorney Lisa Bloom, who has litigated many of these cases against Fox News and has insights into how the company handles these types of lawsuits. Lisa, thanks so much for being with us uh, this morning. We know that trial delays are common. What do you think is behind this one? A lot of people are speculating the rumor mill is that they're trying to settle this case. Thank you for inviting me. And Fox News has to be desperate to settle this case. And that's why the trial has been continued just for one day. So they are really under the gun. Yes, I know from the cases that I've had against Fox News, which were sexual harassment cases, that they never want these cases to go to trial. They don't want their dirty laundry aired in public. And Dominion's case is one of the strongest I have ever seen against Fox News. I mean, the judge in the case has already sanctioned Fox News for, quote, misrepresentations to the court and the judge said this is very serious so fox news is going into this uh, in a very very weak position dominion has recordings it has texts it has evidence from some of fox news's biggest stars that they knew that the statements that were being made about the dominion voting machines were false and they put them on the air anyway uh, fox news is probably trying very hard behind the scenes today to settle the case. I think you made two very important points there. It seems that the Fox, uh, their best defense really is already off the table, you know, with, with some of these reporting on newsworthy allegations, even if they're false. And also the judge coming down hard, you know, when you look at this, uh, he also seemed very perturbed, if you read into uh, some of the documents, that he just found out that Rupert Murdoch was an executive chair of Fox uh, Corporation, not just Fox News. So there's some back and forth there. It seems yes. that would be why Fox would want to settle. Why would Dominion want to settle at this point? Well, if they can get a huge win without going to trial, of course, they're going to want to do that. Dominion has asked for $1.6 billion, with a B, against Fox News. And I think if there is a settlement, um, this could be one of the biggest settlements we've ever seen against Fox News. I mean, Fox News has paid hundreds of millions of dollars, according to its public SEC filings, just again, in sexual harassment cases. But this is in a completely different category. And I think the reason why it hasn't settled is Dominion has probably held out for a very high number for at least $1 billion. And anytime you go to trial, I tell my clients, you know, there's no guarantees. A jury can find against you, even yeah. in the strongest case. So that's probably what Dominion is thinking. I've covered a lot of court cases. I try to tell everyone when they, they want the crystal ball, I'm like, it's humans. A jury's oh, right. made up of, of humans, and they are the most, you know, unpredictable species on the planet. You have no idea. <laughs> exactly. Um, you have litigated cases against Fox News in the past. I think this gives you a unique perspective. You can kind of take us behind the curtain a little bit. Can you maybe shed some insight on how lawyers for Fox, in your experience, have handled some of these lawsuits in the past? Yes, Fox News' attorneys will fight very hard in any case. And in the Dominion case, they have teams of lawyers, but they will fight hard. Uh, you have to really be ferocious and fierce to fight against Fox News. They have top lawyers at big law firms. But ultimately, at the end of the day, they always want to settle cases. And I knew that in my cases. They do not want to go to court. They do not want a public airing of what has happened to them. So while the lawyers will fight hard throughout the discovery and the pretrial phase, when it gets close to trial, Fox News will want to settle. It seems people are very interested in this case as well. So we'll see uh, once they finally do get it underway how this all plays out. Lisa, thank you so much. Thank you.